Hydradenoma papillotherum, also called papillary hydradenoma, is a well-circumscribed lesion with apocrine differentiation. It is a benign tumor which typically affects vulvar and perianal area uh, in women. It is a well-circumscribed dermal-based lesion and it is composed of um, complex irregular gland-like spaces with papillary enfoldings. These interconnected arborizing complex glands um, is sometimes, are sometimes described as maze-like glands or maze-like appearance. Here we have the papillary enfoldings into the lumen. So papillary-like structures with a fibrous core. The, tu uh, the tumor is composed of two types of cells. The inner layer or the luminal layer of the cells, those are these columnar uh, cells with apocrine differentiation. Here we can identify these uh, apocrine snouts or cytoplasmic invaginations uh, or secretions. The nuclei are bland, oval-shaped. Um, sometimes we can see inconspicuous, very small nucleoli. Mitoses can be found, but they are usually not prominent and we shouldn't find atypical mitotic figures. The second type of cells, those are these outer myoepithelial cells. And these cells are peripherally located. Here they are more prominent, these myoepithelial outer cells. In between the glands, we see um, connective tissue component. These tumors are typically described as dermal-based tumors without connection to the epidermis. However, some cases can be connected uh, with the surface. Very similar and probably closely related tumor is called syringocyst adenoma papilliferum. And this tumor is commonly found in a head and neck area. Thanks for watching.